Just like there's a cost to getting out the world's news, there's a cost to us sharing the good news of the gospel of Christ, a cost Jesus paid on our behalf. Top of the morning to you. When we read Paul's second letter to Timothy with the eyes of love and a firm determination to get to know God better, we see how a spiritual father addresses his protege. In this instance, the father Paul is in prison and he tries to get some last minute guidance to his pupil Timothy, who's been accompanying Paul on his many travels preaching the gospel to the Gentiles. So we can be sure that we'll see some some of the most important tenets of the faith in this guidance. Paul is very real to Timothy, stating many times how this journey of preaching the gospel will be fraught with suffering, but assures Timothy in verse 7, God has not given us a spirit of fear, rather he has given us a spirit of power, love, a calm, well-balanced mind, discipline, and self-control. In chapter 2, verse 3, he tells Timothy to take his share of the hardships and sufferings which he was called to endure as a good soldier of Christ Jesus all the while focusing on one aim, to satisfy and please the one who enlisted him, Jesus. After all, chapter 1, verse 9, God delivered us, saved us, and called us to holiness so that we could fulfill his purpose in Christ Jesus even before the world began. Thanks to Jesus, we can face these sufferings without fear of death. One ten. Jesus annulled death, making it of no effect by bringing us life and immortality from eternal death through the gospel. The secret for Paul is expressed in verse 1, verse 12, or chapter 1, verse 12. He says, I am not ashamed, for I know him whom I have believed. He tells Timothy to take guard and keep this precious and excellent truth which has been entrusted to us by the help of the Holy Spirit who makes his home in us. He tells Timothy not to worry, chapter 2, verse 7, The Lord will grant you full insight and understanding in everything. He he addresses Timothy in 2.8 to um, constantly keep in mind Jesus Christ risen from the dead. He is our spiritual, uh, he is our inspiration and the one we lean on. For even though Paul is chained, the word of God is not chained or imprisoned. 2.9. In 3.16 he tells us, Every scripture is God-breathed, profitable for instruction, correction, discipline, and training in holy living. He charges Timothy to uh, preach the word no matter the conditions. A word of encouragement, when Paul is, what Paul is teaching Timothy applies to us today. We can expect pushback when sharing the gospel of Christ because we too are soldiers in the army of God. If our leaders suffered when presenting these truths to a fallen world, you can expect the same treatment, and we can do so without fear because Jesus' resurrection defeated death's sting. Have a great day.